Good morning and welcome to day 11 of the Mindfulness Challenge. What we're going to talk about today, we're going to stay a little bit on the, um, we're going to do the loving kindness meditation again and um, we're going to stay on the area of blame and importantly about how we are taking this mindfulness challenge in unusual circumstances, in difficult times. We are awakening through conflict, through um, uncertainty, through through a time where, you know, people are struggling. People are struggling through anxiety, depression, panic, all of these things. Um, and I think it's important that we talk about how conflict and blame and all of these things can really cause us um, issues. We spoke about blame yesterday. We talked about empathy and sympathy. Um, and we'll go into that a little bit more in depth at the moment. It is day 11. Um, I feel a bit better. Um, you can tell I'm still all here. I still have a horrendous sense of smell. I've just put my oil diffuser on with probably too much white sage. Um, I can't smell a thing. Um, I can't taste anything. Did some beautiful... Um, I love piri piri chicken. I did some beautiful piri piri chicken wings yesterday. Couldn't taste anything. But who cares? <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I know it'll come back um, and I'll enjoy the taste a little bit more. I think what one of the things that... Um, I woke up this morning and I was a bit... I was a bit... Yeah, a bit down this morning. Um, I was hoping to feel better than what I currently do, um, which isn't very mindful. I should just be in the moment and accept that I am getting better from moment to moment. And you know, but we're human. And one of my favourite places to go is um, a place called Costa Blanca, which is in Spain. And I go there every year. <clears throat> my friend has a place. We used to have a place over there years ago. My friend has a place over there. And um, we go quite a bit. I haven't gone a lot in the last two years because of the business interests and things like that. But we go there quite a bit. And it's a special sacred space for me that um, I really enjoy and I feel at home and it's it's wonderful. Um, and I woke up this morning and, I, and everything just seems to be so far away. The The light at the end of the tunnel was, was quite dark um, and... And you're just thinking, how long, you know, where are we and what happens and all of these things. So all I did was, is I put on the radio, local radio station, La Corenta, which is based down in uh, a place called Pila de Harada, which is down by San Pedro, 40 minutes south of Alicante, in a province called Murcia. And I put it on and... The guy who was speaking on the radio spoke in his most happy-go-lucky Spanish accent. On came a lovely track. I closed my eyes. And in all intents and purposes, I was there. It was wonderful and blissful. And I came out of that and I thought to myself, Do you know what, Julie, you can sit here and say you missed that. Or I can sit here and say I'm looking forward to going back to that. I'm looking forward to that day I arrive on a plane... I get to the airport, I pick up my hire car and I press the radio on. And I'm driving down the N332 with the Mediterranean to my left hand side, the sun beaming down through a cloudless sky and I'm listening to this radio channel. Or I can think, oh, am I ever going to get there? This is terrible. So with all of these things, we have an option. We have, a, we have an idea of which way we can go and how we can do it. And it's very much like that as well in terms of blame and conflict. Conflict for me is um, an emotion of stuckness. The reason we're in conflict is because we can't find a way out. It's There's a pattern we're stuck in in that moment and we can't get out of it and we want to blame somebody and we want to do this and we want to do that. And, and one of the things that um, we spoke about yesterday was blame. And just to give you a bit more in-depth, I'm getting, and I understand why, it's a human nature. I'm getting people send me um, messages and emails and, you know, is this coronavirus due to the 5G? Is it because of this? Is it because of that? You know, whose fault is it? It starts in, you know, you've got Donald Trump calling it the 
Chinese virus. It started in, as he said, China, you know, and all of these things. Does it really matter? Why are we wasting so much time and energy on apportioning blame? Let's spend that time and energy offering healing. Let's spend that time and energy offering love. Let's spend that time and energy helping others. Let's spend that time and energy working on ourselves, giving ourselves self-compassion, meditating, giving ourselves that platform of calmness and balance and stillness, feeling centered. Why not do that? And the reason we do it, because that for thousands and thousands of years, many more years than now we've been this individual bright light, is we've always been in tribes. And when there's a problem, we try and find the person in the tribe because we need to get out of the we need to get them out of the tribe because they're going to cause problem. They're going to cause mayhem. This is problem. This is so you know the person who causes the issue in the tribe is the danger. They're the people you have to find out and and get that person out due to the risk of the tribe. Those days are gone. Those days are gone. And I think there's a real danger if we if we continue to use our energies to find who's at fault and what's at fault rather than dealing with the issue that's in front of us we need to move away from the tribal conditioning of blame and to look for things who's to blame and move into the process of the things that need love and healing and that can be anything it's not just you know about the coronavirus it can be anything that's happening in our lives there's um a story about you know i think there's a part of south africa where um if some if they catch a killer of somebody who they murdered they put that killer on a boat um and bind him and in, in a river and chuck him in the river as the family of the murdered um stand on the side and they've got the option to either save him or let him drown and they say you know if they save him, they can hurt. The, they can heal their sorrow. They can let it go. They can forgive, and they can start healing. There's a saying that um, with all of these things, and it's a lot deeper than some of the issues around us at the moment. But vengeance is a lazy form of grief, and blame is a lazy form of most things. We really need to move away from blaming and resenting and revenge and it because I think it covers over the things that we really need to pay attention to and the primary challenge is to move away from the addiction and sub, uh, seduction of, of blame into the moment we can move away from that we can really move away from that in the moment and then we can really start to truly heal for me forgiveness is the key to all self love and development and self-love and development for others imagine if we could be in a situation where no one is to blame it's no one's fault we all make mistakes let's help each other to move on to learn to heal and to love in a way that is is full of empathy is full of compassion is 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 authentic is meaning is all of these things and I, I just wanted to talk again about blame purely because of the amount of emails and propaganda that i'm getting about who's at fault for the current situation where we are does it really matter now the only way we're going to heal and get through this is by offering love and support and working together to try and find solutions vaccinations um uh, ways in which we can help those who have severe forms of this dilapidating illness this virus and i'm talking about corona because we're right bang in the middle of it you know it, it's happening it's real and we need to think about how we through our emotions through stress through depression through anxiety through fear through blame how we can just be better how we can condition ourselves to really deal with this issue and we're all struggling there's no doubt about it i think everybody is is finding things difficult and the world will never be the same again i keep saying it minimum amount of losses maximum amount of impact so today don't blame anybody 
don't watch any videos about propaganda or you know blame videos or or you know conspiracy videos don't do it you're wasting your energy you're wasting time it's not going to solve anything if it is 5g then let's deal with it after that but let's deal with where we are today and that is by offering our love and empathy and kindness and compassion and healing to those people who need it most i hope you've enjoyed this video we're going to go into the loving kindness section now um and don't forget tomorrow's day 12. well done if you've done it all the way through and i just want to say a very special message here before we go into the video if you are or know somebody who is involved in any of the emergency services and in particular your nurses your doctors your frontline people do me a favor just give them a virtual cuddle or a virtual kiss and say that these are the true heroes these are the people who are the glue of our country the glue of our community and for many years we've overlooked all of these people the lorry drivers bringing food the shelf stackers who allow us to get food in the market and we always think about the highfalutin bankers and financiers and the very famous rich successful people who are at the moment are having little or no impact on the situation where we are it's those fundamental frontline workers who are really turning it on and they are the glue of our community and of our society and I'm from the bottom of my heart I want to say thank you for putting yourself at risk, your lives at risk to help others. You truly deserve all of our blessings, all of our energy, all of our love, all of our care. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you from the bottom of my family's heart for everything that you're doing right here, right now. God bless. This loving kindness meditation is specifically for you. I'll see you in a few moments. Thank you. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to put a nice image up. And I'm going to sound a bell for us to start. And all I want you to do now is focus on your breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathe it out. And just focus on where your breath is. Where do you feel it most? Is it through your nostrils? Is it on your t-shirt? Is it on your jumper? Where do you feel? Do you feel your, your belly moving in and out? Breathing in and breathing out. And to start this, we're going to offer loving kindness to ourselves. And I want you to focus on the intention of these words. And I want you to continually repeat these words. And if you have a thought that comes in, you welcome it, you love it, you let it go, and you come back to the mantra. So as we're breathing in, I want you to say these words. Breathing in, may I be safe. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be healthy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I live with ease. Breathing out. Repeat the mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Continue that mantra as you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And if you have any thoughts that come in, you welcome them, you love them, you let them go, and you come back to your mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Welcome this beautiful love into your life. To be kind to yourself, to connect in with yourself to love yourself, to heal yourself. May I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease.
May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now what I'd like you to do is just, with your eyes closed, choose someone in your life that you love. Or someone that inspires you. Someone you think about, who you're grateful for. And I want you to picture that person in your mind. And on this occasion, as you're breathing in, you say simply, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. This is loving kindness for somebody else who is someone you love, someone inspires you. Put them in your mind, see them and set the intention of may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And don't forget, if you have a thought, just let it welcome in. Hold it. Don't put any judgment on it, accept it, acknowledge it, let it go and come back to your mantra for this person that you love. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Now the focus, we're going to focus on someone you know who's having a difficult time at the moment. Maybe someone who's ill. And we're going to offer them kindness. So if there's somebody you know who is in self-isolation or isn't feeling very well at the moment. And we need to place their, your intention in your mind, with them in your mind. And you say again, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. This is somebody who you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, who may be ill. Set the intention of that person, put them in your mind's eye. And as you do, you say to yourself, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And if you find your attention or your mind wanders, don't worry. Just love it, let it go. And return back to your phrases, your mantra. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. These mantras are now your anchor. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And what I'd like you to do is choose someone in your life that you might have difficulty with or have some tension with or have had an issue with or something hasn't sat right between the both of you for a little bit of time. This one can be difficult, but we set the attention and we put them in our mind's eye and we say to them in our mantra, breathing in and breathing out, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And again, if something, a thought comes in, I want you to allow it in, accept it, acknowledge it, put no judgment, love it and let it go. And come back to your anchor, your mantra. For the person who you may have had difficulty with, have had an argument with, there's some tension between you. Set the attention, put them in your mind's eye and say, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy and may you live with ease. And if at any point you find that difficult, then you can just direct it back to yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease.
Now I'd like you at this moment to direct your loving kindness, your attention and your intention to all forms of life, people, animals, all beings, those people who need it most all over the world at this very difficult time. And I want you to say for them, may all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And again, if you have any thoughts, you let them in, you let them go, and off you go. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be live with ease. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Take a deep breath in and as you do, I just want you to slowly just recenter yourself on the chair and get your sense of awareness and feel your twiggle your fingers or, or move your toes and come back into the room and open your eyes. Okay, so we are through another day and I want you to stay positive today. In, and if you have some of these favourite places in the world or favourite things you like doing or a specific track or music, or sit in front of your computer, whatever you're doing, Put it on, listen to it. And remember that day will come where you will be able to remember the times that you've had today and you'll be more to appreciate the things when you have that next time around. When I go to Murcia, Spain, next time I go there, oh my God, it's going to be amazing because I'm truly, truly going to appreciate it more than I've ever appreciated it before to spend some quality time with my family, with the surroundings, with the culture, with the beauty, with the sun, with the sea, with the sand, and of course with the sangria, I hope. God bless. And don't forget, when you woke up this morning, good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. And I love you too. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being you. And today's the new day where we don't blame anybody anymore. We use that energy to heal, for self-love, self-compassion, those around us, and, and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.